Back now at 7.30 on CBS Mornings, and we're learning about an alarming trend involving some nursing homes. What starts out as a good deed, helping a loved one to get into one of those homes, can turn into a legal nightmare in some cases. Our partner Kaiser Health News, along with NPR, has been looking into nursing homes that have filed lawsuits against not only residents, but also their friends and family, all in an effort to collect unpaid bills. Our consumer investigative correspondent Anna Werner has a story. 81-year-old Barbara Robinson spent the past two years fighting a lawsuit, all because she volunteered to help an elderly friend of her mother's move to this county-run nursing home in Rochester. They caused me a lot of grief. It all began in February 2018, when Robinson agreed to act as power of attorney to help the friend file for Medicaid to pay for the nursing home and then move in. A lot of pressure for me to get that done and get it in there because they needed to get her signed up. But then the nursing home asked Robinson to sign this admission agreement, saying she would be the responsible party ensuring they'd get paid. So I said, I'm in no way can be responsible for this woman's bill. She says nursing home staff told her not to worry, she wouldn't be. Because if they had said to you, well, yeah, ultimately you're going to be responsible, what I, would you have said? Well, I couldn't have signed it. I couldn't have signed it. I, there was no way. I, I, I live on Social Security. Yet after the friend passed away, the county sued her for $21,000 in unpaid bills, even though she no longer had power of attorney. A judge later dismissed the lawsuit. I thought, you can't do that to somebody. You can't just knock on somebody's door and say you need to pay this bill. But come to find out, they could. In fact, in Robinson's area of Rochester alone, a Kaiser Health News review of court records found that over a three-year period, 24 federally licensed nursing homes filed 238 similar lawsuits, two-thirds of which targeted relatives of residents or friends. Federal laws prohibit nursing homes from requiring third parties, including relatives or friends, to guarantee payment of bills. But attorney Anna Anderson says... This is a growing problem and it's only getting worse. We will go ahead and file everything. She says people she has represented yeah, have been sued after signing admissions agreements, even if they're not legally responsible. I don't think anyone that I've met when they're signing these papers, even when they ask the right questions, I don't think they really understand what they're signing up for. Why is that? Well, the language is very confusing. The nation's largest nursing home industry group, the American Healthcare Association, told us, we haven't heard of our members doing this and we do not believe it's a widespread practice. Robin King says it happened to her in Cleveland. She was sued after helping move her 86-year-old mother into a nursing home in 2017. I was shocked. I was in disbelief. She says she had carefully read the paperwork and made clear she could not pay her mother's bills. There was one paper we came across and it said, um, will you be financially responsible if your mom cannot pay this? And I was like, no, absolutely like no. X marks the spot. Yet three years later, the nursing home sued her for over $78,000. Earlier this year, she testified in front of a Senate committee. There must be a better way to take care of each other and not leave people like me facing life-changing amounts of debt. There's just no excuse for this in America. Barbara Robinson says she's angry, too. It's like they look around. Who can we try and get this money out of? Well, Robin King was dropped from the lawsuit filed by her mother's nursing home, but the home is still seeking funds from her mother's estate. Neither nursing home responded to our request for comment, but Monroe County in New York, that's where Barbara Robinson's, the home where she took her friend, her mother's friend, told Kaiser and NPR that it would be a disservice to the hospital's residents and to Monroe County's taxpayers to allow residents who have assets not to pay what is owed. Robinson, however, says the friend basically had no assets. Nate? Anna, thank you. Wow, that is eye-opening. And you're just trying to help a friend. And she was very clear when she said no. No, yeah. I still get the bill. And you still get sued. Yeah. You still get it. Wow. But if federal law prohibits these nursing homes from suing friends and family, right. can't you just use that as yeah. your reason not to pay these bills. Yes, but your heart's still going to start beating when you open that yes. envelope and it says $78,000. You are right about right. that. Even right when you that. think you're right, Tony, yeah. you think it's very unsettling. Yeah, definitely.